Who doesn't like free stuff? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you the top five spots that we like to loot in Red Online to give us tonics, valuables, materials, even ammo. Stick around. Howdy Cowpoke, Austin BMX here. Thanks for checking out today's video. I got my top five spots that I love to loot and read it online. Get you all kinds of items, including tonics, great uh, food items like canned food, which is one of our favorites, and ammo, which is fantastic. Horse care items, gun oils, miracle tonics, just in general, lots of great stuff. So if you guys are aware of all these locations or most of them, definitely let us know if you got any special ones that you like to loot make sure to leave them down in the comments so everyone else in the community can uh, take advantage of those as well first up our favorite spots up here in the grizzlies up in armorino arm yeah arm Am amarino amarino roanoke valley area yeah it is the loft there it is the loft loft is our number one spot to loot there's a few different reasons why let me jump on down there i spawned in here a little while ago and there's another group of people doing a bounty so there's a lot of dead people all over the place so don't mind them I, I might, I might kill a couple of them, but that's besides the point. So right outside, we got some whiskey out here. We also have a gun oil out here as well. Um, the loft is our number one spot because uh, of what's inside. I can't even take the gun oil. What's inside the first floor and down below. If you come right inside real quick, you're going to want to turn a hard left, and there's going to be a huge selection of canned food on this shelf. I mean, there is like seven or eight different canned food. All you do is hold down the square, and you can pick apricots, I think there's some beans here as well. Uh, these are fantastic because they go into your weapons wheel. All right, it's peaches. Your weapons wheel and there's some beans. Allows you to quickly uh, consume these and get your cores filled up pretty quick if you need a, a quick core fill, right? We got some biscuits there as well. You're going to want to have to come over here and check out this good old trunk as well because there should be some herbivore bait in here. Um, some herbivore bait, some carnivore, carnivore bait. And uh, also, um, should be, uh, excuse me, game, let me uh, rotate through all these. Why is this thing freaking out on me here? All right, looks like there's a card here as well. It might be here when you guys come up here and loot. Of course, those always change. Uh, after you loot the inside and get all that canned food and loot that uh, chest, you're going to want to come around back because, uh, especially if you're low level, uh, this has a fantastic amount of rifle cartridges, high velocity. There are a ton here. Just hold down square. There's five each, but if you pick them all up, I think there's probably about 40 or 50 uh, total. I can't even take any more. There's a whole other batch of them right over here. Actually, I can't take those. What were the other ones there? Were those pistol? Probably, because I don't even own a pistol, so I always have a full satchel of pistol ammo because, uh, you know, I never use it. It is high, it's revolver. All right, revolver. So again, our number one spot is the loft, and if we take a look at the map real quick, of course, so I can show you guys where we are. We're way up here, way up north. A uh, bit difficult to get up here, so got to figure out how to get up here. Um, I would say possibly fast travel to Annisburg, cruise on up here. That works the best. Uh, way up here, but it's definitely worth it, especially if you're low rank and looking for that high velocity ammo um, and tons of provisions, and you don't want to spend any money on those. So come up here to the loft for a bunch of great stuff. All right, number two spot we got for you today is McLean's house. Quickly showing the map where we are. Down in Blue Water Marsh area. Pretty easy ride from where we were just at the loft. Probably took us like a minute and a half to ride down here. This whole little five spot loot that we're going to do. Probably only take about 20 minutes or so to hit them all. Pretty, pretty easy. But right here, McLean's house. Uh, reason we are here, uh, there is some great stuff inside. Uh, I love to go loot places that are full of uh, some good stuff. I, I love canned food. I'm not sure why. I mean, maybe because it's easy to take. But you can see right here on the edge, a bunch of canned food. Canned vegetables, just a half dozen or so canned foods. Um, some coffee as well, which we don't use too much of that. I'm not sure why we're not even full. But I really love the canned food because you can easily dump in the weapon wheel and eat some really quick. So I love to have a full satchel of that. Uh, there's also some canned vegetables right there. We missed it. Where'd it go? There, up on top. Nice. Also a few things on the table. Sometimes even a collectible here as well. So make sure you guys are looting all of this stuff. But uh, number two spot really quick. McLean's house. Showing the map again real quick, we are right there above Blue Hour Marsh. We're going to cruise over uh, this direction now and go over to uh, Hill Haven Ranch for our next spot. 
I'll see you guys there in just a second. Number three spot we got on our list is Hillhaven Ranch. You can see right here, Hillhaven Ranch, and uh, maybe someday we can actually own this ranch. That would be amazing if they dropped this into a property. I would spend hours sitting at this ranch, farming, taking care of cow, doing all those chores that John does in Epilogue. I mean, come on, Rockstar. Let me buy this ranch. I got 300 gold. I'll drop it all right now. $50,000 to buy this ranch and be able to play here the whole time. But if you guys are looking for some good loot, of course, he'll have a ranch. Come take a look at it. Tons of great stuff in here. There's a kitchen full of stuff. Two or three bedrooms full of stuff as well. So make sure you guys are coming over here, searching every single item there are, or every single stashable place. Underneath the sink, uh, we got some cabinets over there. There's two bedrooms here that are just full of, of stuff in the drawers, as well as uh, over here. So there's even some collectibles here as well. Make sure you guys are checking out Hillhaven Ranch. I'll show you again on the map, or I'll show you on the map exactly where we are, right next to Matlock Pond. Super easy. Our last one we were at were right, was right here. So easy ride right over from McLean's house. Our second little spot down here in Blue Water Marsh that we love to come to you is Hillhaven Ranch. Of course, there are tons of them around the map. But we seem to get our best bang for the buck for making a stop in here. And we love hanging out at this ranch and just having some fun. Let's move on to Strawberry now for spot number four, which is fantastic. Spot number four on our little tour here is over in Strawberry. One of the great places down here is the Welcome Center. You guys didn't know this building in here. Sometimes you don't even, it's like one of the only buildings you can even go into in Strawberry, except for like the post office. I guess you can go to the jail as well, but that's it. All the, oh, I guess the store as well. <laughs> but all these other ones, you can't. I mean, I don't know why we can't go into that hotel. There should be like a little saloon at the bottom of that, right? I mean, or there should be like some people serving drinks inside the Welcome Center. But if you come inside the Welcome Center right here inside Strawberry, quite a lot of stuff. Uh, there are some people here now. These people change too. I recorded this video once already this weekend, and uh, the audio was all messed up, so I had to redo it. There were no ladies here, and a guy sitting right there. Really weird. I've never seen the the NPCs be, be not static like that in the Welcome Center. I've been here so much, but got a few things right there when you walk in. You got a few uh, food items right there. Uh, but what you really want to do is go upstairs. There's two bedrooms to loot. Two rooms to loot. Make sure you loot this chest before you go up there. Inside this chest, you'll be able to get some gun oil, I believe. Maybe some tonics or some brandy, uh, some alcohol, and uh, possibly even some horse items as well. Although the horse items might be inside the next one inside here. Um, I have quite a lot of stuff already, so a lot of stuff I can't pick up. I would highly recommend just getting over here and getting what you can. Tons of stuff in here if you guys haven't looted this stuff in a while. We got horse stimulant there. Pretty sure there's a horse reviver as well. Some uh, cartridges. Um, gun oil right on that one. There's uh, sometimes even a collectible here, depending on what day it is. Uh, inside this uh, little bedside table should be a good old-fashioned Miracle Tonic, I believe. Maybe the top drawer. Potent Bitters. I think there's a Moonshine, probably at the very top, right? A Moonshine at the very top? Yeah. All right. Perfect. Inside that cabinet over there should be another cigar, some more ammo. Uh, it's just regular ammo, though. But if you're low-ranked, low it's definitely good. Inside here, there's uh, more stuff to loot inside all of these dressers and inside this chest at least one or two things inside everything i mean that's 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 half a dozen things in this room more in these other rooms over here and inside this tote right here so make sure to get down here inside the welcome center in strawberry and get all this stuff looted up you know whenever you're in strawberry cruise on in here and do it because it's fantastic our fifth and final spot for today's video is way out here in the desert gonna be a little bit of a fast travel spot but it definitely is worth it or definitely if you're out in this area make sure to grab this stuff we are at rat Skeller fork I did showcase this spot in my uh, PC video just last week, so I wanted to showcase that in this loot spot video as well because it is fantastic. But to show you the map real quick, we are in Ratskeller Fork north of Tumbleweed. Pretty easy to get to, fast travel to Tumbleweed, right on up here. Uh, this is the location you actually steal your very first horse from when you're in the online tutorial. Uh, if you guys didn't know that when you're in this because you're rushing through real quick, there are tons of lootables here for your horse. Over inside this uh, little area, it's like a, you know, saddle, horn, saddle tree, saddle, saddle something. They're working on saddles here. You got horse stimulant, horse reviver, horse medicine, and an oat cake. That's four items for your horse. Easy, easy lootables, worth quite a lot of money at the stable there. So pick up all those real quick, but that's not it. There's a whole nother selection of them right over here at this other little stable or saddle location here. All four items are still here again. Horse stimulant. Horse Reviver, Horse Medicine, and some good old oat cakes, which are fantastic for your horse to feed them. Make sure, though, before you leave, run over and get the last oat cake, which I believe is in this stall. 
right here for classic oat cakes. The fill up your horse items to make El Cheapo or whoever you're riding super happy as, as long as you feed them, of course. All right, so moving backwards, we have Ratscaler Fork number five on our list for some great horse items. You guys saw right there. Uh, then we have Strawberry, the Welcome Center. Welcome Center and Strawberry, which is this building right next to the Johnny board right there. Had a whole slew of items, a couple horse items, lots of tonics, and a little bit of food and some cigars right there over in Strawberry. And we had two houses we looted down by Rhodes in the Blue Water Marsh area. Of course, by Matlock Pond, we have Hill Haven Ranch. Hill Haven Ranch, I didn't show you guys all the loot in there, but it is fantastic. And there's two full rooms plus the kitchen, and there are probably 20 lootable items inside that one house right there. So make sure you guys are checking out Hill Haven Ranch. And then if you're down in the area over by Blue Water Marsh, I love McLean's house because of all the canned food that's in the kitchen. A couple other items as well. And then if you're really into canned food like I am, definitely check out The Loft. The Loft is like pretty much a freaking grocery store right when you walk in the door. And down below, it's like an armory in the basement. So make sure you guys check out The Loft for some amazing stash of canned food and some high velocity ammo, especially if you're low ranked. Well, Cal Poke, if you like this video, if it helped you out, make sure to smash that like button. If you're new around here, Consider subscribing to the channel for more Red Dead Online content, including tips and tricks, news updates, gameplay, just good old-fashioned fun. Hope to see you on the prairie sometime, but until then, see you later.